become emotional? What happens to us when we become emotional? We're involved. We're just... What is it? What is it, though? We're, we're attached to it. We're emotionally attached to it, to whatever. We want it now. Everybody, it's like a kid. You know, they want a lollipop. They're going to get it because they're going to get throw a tantrum. They're going to get it. I get you, can't, you can't control endorphins. Ooh. What, 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 what's endorphins? Say? That's a, like a chemistry thing, isn't it? What is it? What's an endorphin? What's, that's, that's the hormones that give you pleasure. Really? So can we, you mean when we become emotional, there's more, there's more endorphins pumping through our body sometimes? Usually. Thank you, Dr. Skullnick. <laughs> All right. Hey, my mother always wanted to hear that. <laughs> <laughs> Every Jewish mother's dream, right? A lawyer or yeah. a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> Every New York Jewish mother. <laughs> Claudia and I were on the dinner table last night. And I, we like to watch the news. And I usually have my little iPad or she has hers or something like that. We're in the kitchen and watch the news. And then sometimes I go to, I go to my favorite place, YouTube. How many people here are addicted to YouTube? <laughs> so I hit the button. I don't know. There's some, they suggest things sometimes. And one of these suggestions was um, a Marine coming home from Afghanistan. He's been gone for like a year and a half, two years or something. And his kid is in the gym for some function. And it was all set up. And, and the kid, and kid's back. And his father walks in. And the kid turns around, a little guy, just a little guy, seven, eight, nine years old. And he sees his father for the first time in like 18 months. And he starts just breaking down, crying. And he hugs him like, like he'll never let him go again. Mm -hmm. What do you think happened to Claudia and I were watching this thing? Crying. I mean... You know. Instant I, allergy attack. I mean, it's just a minute, immediately, just tearing up. It's so, then they had to, then they had more videos about dogs, people who have been gone a long time and they got, and, their do, and they came home to their dog here, okay? And the dog, you could hear the dog, it was just pure love, the way he was, the tail's wagging and he's jumping all over this uh, army, uh, army lady who came home. She's been gone over a year and the dog just still remembered her after a year. They're not dumb animals, are they? Mm. And everything. That's these, why am I talking about emotions like this? Can we can we affect people by using words that create emotion? Yes. You better believe it. You better believe it. Let's go. Okay. I'm sorry. I just I had to share that with you because I don't think we talk enough about sounding different, being unique, making them so emotional that when they get off the phone, they say, I like this person. I want to work with them. Here's my check. Here, where do I transfer the, the, the deed to? Um, uh, I, want, I want to do business with Allie. Allie, how many dollar policies can you sell me today? You know, because I feel that good about you. Absolutely. Let's go to open forum here. This is your time. Good morning, Glenn Matheny. How are you? Good morning, Claude. Been out of the weather with the flu, but I'm pretty good. Excellent. Now, so. Good to hear it. Good to hear it. Everybody, open forum. Who's got a deal? Who's got a question um, or a role play? Tim Wood, I'm, go first and then Nicole. Hey, good morning, everybody. I have a, um, a question. I'm looking for um, a private lender for 